right, hi, and welcome back. Tony Steve Vondren, and a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to one and all alike. Hope you're all having a great day. I just thought uh, I had a question. Somebody wanted me to talk about uh, federal judges appointed by Donald Trump. And so, uh, and particularly in the Ninth Circuit. So some people are saying, is there's going to be a big change in the Ninth Circuit? I say, I don't know. There's, but there are some changes in judges. So let's take a look at that. Here we go. So one of the powers of the president is the power to appoint federal judges. Now you may say, uh, well, what's, what's that? Is like, what kind of judges? Well, here you can see um, there's Neil Gorsuch. He was recently appointed. But here you can see uh, scrolling down. This is a page off Wikipedia, and this is going to be shared under the um, common, what, what do they have? Which, what, let me check their license here. First thing I always do before I do a video, just so you guys know, I come to the bottom and I look and I see this is a, this text is available under the Creative Commons Share Alike license. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this in another video. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to talk about that in another video. It's good. Uh, so you definitely want to subscribe here. Okay, um, but let's get back here to the actual judges. So you can see all the different types of federal courts. You have the United States Supreme Court. Okay, you can see two judges have been appointed so far, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh. Um, and you can see then the United States Courts of Appeal. This is right below. This is right below the Supreme Court. And then if you go down further, you can see the United States District Courts. These are the district courts. In fact, this is exactly how a case progresses through the federal system if it goes up on appeal. It starts at the United States District Court. It goes up to the Court of Appeals. And if the United States Supreme Court wants to hear your case via writ of certiorari, and I have a video on that, writ of certiorari, then it would go to the United States Supreme Court if they decide to hear it, okay? Usually only important decisions that will affect a lot of people, okay? Um, so those are your three courts, but that's not all. That's not all. There's other federal courts, and let's go down. You can see all these judges that have been appointed. Um, and some people say, well, why didn't um, Obama appoint all these judges? He had, he had the choice to do that, and some people say, well... You know, they thought Hillary was going to win, and so she was going to be able to appoint all these and, you know, so forth and so on. But who knows? And um, But you can see all the all the things. Here's other federal courts, though, that m many people are not aware of. United States Courts of International Trade, three judges appointed, okay? Um, specialty courts, what they call Article I courts, United States Court of Federal Claims. And I have a really great blog if you want to know what federal claims are. Things like vaccination injuries and things like that. You you would have to search uh, Attorney Steve Federal Claims, something like that. But I have a good video out on, or I think it's a blog or a video or both on that. So you can see, look at even more judges there. But wait, that's not all. There's also a United States Tax Court. Bunch of judges appointed there. Wait, wait. There's more. United States Courts of Appeal for Veterans Claims. More judges. Four, five, six judges. Okay. You have a United States Courts of Military Commission Review, United States Courts of Appeal for the Armed Forces, okay? So look at that. That is a lot of different federal judges. So when you talk about, uh, you know, putting a federal judge on the bench, these are all the different benches. There's lots of benches. And if you know your civics you or your law, I should say, either one, you know that federal judges sit for life. Sit for life on good behavior is the term. So they get a lifetime a lifetime job. Many of these people, as, as I'm going to show you here in a second, are, you know, they're, they're 40 years old, 40, you know, young 40s. They're going to be on, the, on this bench. A lot of these are going to try to work their way up to the Supreme Court. But, you know, this is a job for life. This is what we call job security. Okay. So here's some of the judges. And I'm, I'm only going to go over the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit is the one that I had a question about. How is it going to change? You can see there's a bunch of different circuits here. Okay. I'm looking for the Ninth. I want to see what kind of people have been appointed to the Ninth. Okay. So here's one Ninth Circuit appointed on... February 28th, Mark J. Bennett. So let's do this. Let's just open a new window. Mark Bennett. And I like to go over here and just see where are they from? Donald Trump appointed 
Um, let's see. I'd like to see this. Okay, he's 66 years old. He's Republican, Union Union College and Cornell Law School. Okay. Usually you see a lot of Harvards and Yales, but I noticed one thing. I took a quick peek. It looked like Trump was pretty um, even. And here's another one in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Okay, let's take a look here. Ryan Nelson. Um, I saw a lot of a lot of smaller schools, what you would call a smaller school if you're looking at that. But um, whoops, I don't know. I must have clicked on the wrong one there. <laughs> I should have clicked on this. Um, okay, so this guy's from Idaho Falls. He's 46 years old. BYU. So like I said, you don't hear a lot of BYUs being appointed, but now we have that. So what else do we have here? Let's see. You got Bridget. Let's check out Bridget. So we have a female here. Now she's from Arizona State University. Yeah. Uh-oh. Frontline Lisi <laughs> has come alive. She has come alive over here. Why are you so happy, Frontline? Because that's my school. Oh, my goodness gracious. So that's one of her alumni, Arizona State. Now Bridget is 54. Miss Shelton, the Honorable. Once they're judges, you call them the Honorable. Judge Shelton, okay? So um, that's interesting. What else do we have? Kenneth Lee, let's see Kenneth Lee. Now this is all Ninth Circuit, as I said, so there is gonna be a little mix up in the courts. Um, This is Cornell University, 44 years old, wow, young. That is a young federal court judge from Seoul, Korea, South Korea. Cornell and a Harvard, and a Harvard JD. Harvard JD, obviously, folks, if you can ever get into Harvard, you can just write your ticket into so many different areas in life. So, uh, but let's take a look here. Another Ninth Circuit. So you can see there's a lot of Ninth Circuit judges. This can change it. Here's a Stanford grad, 55 years old, from Harvard College, Stanford. Okay, and you can get a little look at what they what they've done here. I love Wikipedia, by the way. This is like the greatest page. Should definitely contribute to their page. They have a contribution button up here. But just absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So let's just look at a few more. I don't want to take your whole day here. I know you got tons to do, but I wanted just to kind of show this because somebody wanted to know, okay? I wanted to know actually too. Um, so we just looked at Collins, uh, Ninth Circuit, Daniel, let's check that out. And Ninth Circuit, just so you know, covers California, Washington, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, Utah, Nevada, Arizona. And here's someone from the University of Virginia School of Law, Harvard undergrad, as you can see. So this is why parents work so hard to try to get their kids into Harvard. Um, You know, it's the holy grail. It really is. Um, Daniel Hunsaker, the Honorable. Let's take a look. Ninth Circuit. Uh, Here's someone from the University of Idaho. Wow. University of Idaho. And went to Roseburg, Oregon. 41 years old. 41 years old. Amazing. Amazing. Um, You can see here, Barn is a United States Circuit Court judge. So uh, Danielle is going from Circuit Court judge up, up to the Court of Appeals. It's a nice little, nice little jump there. Congratulations. Um, Patrick Bumete, also Ninth Circuit. Let's take a look. Okay, uh, here's someone, Harvard and Yale, 41 years old. Former, uh, here's another pathway to federal judge, by the way. Former assistant United States attorney for the Southern District of California. United States attorneys are another uh, sort of pathway, I should say. And what else? I'm going to do one more here for you, just so you can see. This is the Court of Appeals, right? This is the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Last one we have here, the American attorney, former solicitor general of both Nevada and Montana. He's a United States Circuit Court judge. So again, a Circuit Court judge from Montana State undergrad, BS, and a master's and an undergrad and Harvard Law School JD. So that should give you a little idea. Um, You can see political parties, basically Republican. Um, There's probably a lot of people from the from the Federalist Society, the Federalist Society, you can look that up if you want to know what that is. And but that gives you a show and that's just the uh, Court of Appeals. The Ninth Circuit is definitely going to be changing. uh, But does it mean that that the law is going to change? It shouldn't because technically the law is to be followed as precedent, you follow the legal precedent, but 
you know, some people say, well, there's judicial activists and things like that. So time will tell, only time will tell. But again, if you want to look this up, there's more in the district courts. You know, this, I'm not going to go into it. But there it is, federal judge appointments, an exclusive power of the president. The, po- the president recommends the Senate must confirm, okay? The Senate must confirm. That's how it works, okay? All right, that's it. Have a great Christmas. i got to get back to my wife. She's looking at me like she wants someone to play with. So, right, honey? That's correct. All right, so I'll be back. You guys have a great day. We'll see you again. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Take care now. This is general legal information only and not legal advice.